Films have been part of our culture for decades. From the big screen itself to toys and even video games. The influence of films can be felt everywhere. But just how well thought out are Hollywood releases? Are they just a straight dive towards our wallets? At this Odeon Cinema in Tamworth, we ask a member of staff how cinemas are changing their operations to best suit their customers. So are enough people still going to the cinema? My name's uh, Mark Lomas and I work here at the Odeon Cinema Tamworth as a team member. I think there's been uh, an increase, although it has increased in price a little bit, it is uh, increasing and people do uh, like to come and watch the, their sort of favourite films at the cinema. So which films are doing well at the moment? Uh, Non-Stop's done pretty well, that's uh, quite a popular one at the moment. It's not done as well as Taken, but it's done really well. It's uh, starring Liam Neeson. The Lego movie has performed quite well for children and adults. And also the 300 film has performed really well over the last couple of weeks. A major British film coming up is uh, Startup, starring Jack O'Connell. And that's coming out in the next couple of weeks. We're expecting that to be quite popular. Um, we've got the Amazing Spider-Man film coming out at Easter. We expect that to do quite well. We then have uh, Rio also at Easter for the kids. Following that, in the summer, we've got the second in between us movie. The first one did really well, so we're expecting that to be really busy. And then during the end of the year, we've got the final Hobbit film. Some cinemas, such as Odeon, have even started showing theatre performances on their screens. But why? We've started to do it to reach a wider audience. Uh, there are some people who obviously can't make it to the theatre performance themselves. So we offer the theatre performance and it offers a bit more variety as well for other customers. Seize the crowd. We do expect a decrease in 2014 in uh, customers coming to view 3D. It is interesting that Mark said that 3D has been very popular with audiences since the release of Avatar in 2009. The 3D format has expanded to Blu-ray discs, 3D TVs and even 3D video games. In fact, Hollywood is enforcing this so strongly that only in select cinemas can you view a film in 2D. Strange, considering that after Titanic was re-released in 3D in 2012, ticket sales of 3D films were decreasing rapidly. Yet the majority of revenue did not come from the UK for Titanic 3D, it came from China. We asked an industry professional from America, Robert Marich, what he thinks of China and Hollywood's relationship. This is Robert Marich, author of the book Marketing to Moviegoers, now in the third edition. For Hollywood, China's box office has been an enormous uh, windfall. Uh, China went from really nowhere on Hollywood's radar screen to at least worldwide being the, the second largest box office uh, territory after the U.S. Canada. It's now surpassed lead, previous leaders Japan in the UK. That kind of growth and its outlook for continued growth kind of commands attention in Hollywood, which, which always has crafted films from time to time with, with an eye to various territories. In the 1990s, uh, Germany was a hot market. Big English language independent films were uh, co-produced with German companies in English language that you know were, were crafted to, to have appeal to Germany. The outlook is uh, still good for China to grow even more because uh, it's a huge uh, market population-wise. The population is oriented to out-of-home entertainment because uh, out-of-home is actually, uh, living conditions are, are somewhat cramped there. And China could actually generate more revenue and become even more important if uh, TV started buying TV rights to Hollywood films, which it does only sparingly. Also, uh, it should be pointed out that even though uh, overall gross is big for uh, China, uh, it pays uh, some of the lowest rentals. The, the fee to the film distributors is one of the lowest in the world. But still, it's a huge market and Hollywood is paying attention. If you take a look over the last few years, there have been many examples of Asian elements in Hollywood films, especially in science fiction films. So Hollywood cater their films for other countries other than the UK and China. As Robert mentions, Germany is still a popular co-producer. As the last film they were involved with, Rush, was a huge box office hit. It is unclear just how long Asian elements will be in our films, or if the 3D format will survive until the end of the year. But we have begun to understand the machine that is Hollywood. 